What is up, 8% Nation? I'm Cody Askins, and I'm extremely excited about our special guest, two for the price of one today, a Miss Olivia Richardson and Mike Gatorna, the Medicare Cafe team presented by Senior Marketing Specialists. What's up, guys? Thanks for being on. Great. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And I'm actually really impressed that you got Mike's last name correct because he can't pronounce it correctly half the time. So kudos for you. That's valid. Yeah, that's that's true. I've enjoyed getting to know the two of these guys. And I'm telling you what, you want to be an 8% Nation to hang out with them because I'm telling you what, they go back and forth. They, <laughs> they get after each other. They're hilarious. I, I can only imagine what you guys are going to deliver live from stage. I'm super excited about that. Oh, yeah. If you've ever seen a train wreck, you are in for a treat. Oh, man. Yes. It's, it's, it, you guys will be just as surprised as we are. So yes. we're really excited for it. <laughs> That's the best way to roll. That's the best way to do it. Well, thank you guys so much for doing jumping on this. Thank you for being a part of the conference. Uh, for those that don't know, the Medicare Cafe team, presented by Senior Marketing Specialists out of Columbia, Missouri, just north of us, just a few hours north of us down here in Springfield, they are going to, they're sponsoring, they have a booth, and the, these guys, the Medicare Cafe team, are giving a keynote live from stage in the at Nissan Stadium talking about monetizing Medicare and how agents can turn Medicare clients into financial leads. Uh, so, so, so for those that don't know, because obviously I knew about you guys, you guys do, mm -hmm. you guys do like a Medicare cafe show every, every week, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Yeah. Which is so, so cool. Unique. I love the I love the, I love the duo aspect. I mean, it's <laughs> The personality, just the randomness, it's, it's amazing. So won't you give us our, our audience a little history about the two of you uh, so that they can learn a little bit more about you? I'll Ladies let you first? start. Well, no, age before beauty. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. It's visible wisdom in my beard, just so you know. <laughs> all right, so the Medicare Cafe started real quick. Uh, during AEP, we know that as trainers, a lot of agents don't have a lot of time. They're out there selling and producing business. So we started doing short webinars just on quick tips throughout AEP. We call it actually AEP Coffee Break. And then in January, it just kind of kept on going and took a life of its own. And then Olivia got bored one day and came over. It's essentially honest. That's yeah, right. that's, that's real. pretty much what happened. And it just have grown from there. So that's how the AP or the AP Coffee Talk turned into Make Your Cafe, which turned into what we have today. I was a field agent for in Kansas City for many years, and uh, with a friend of mine, we realized that there was this hole in the market where you get contracted, and then your training was, here, go sell this, and that was it. So we started a training platform, that grew, and then it spiraled into senior marketing specialists, and here I am today. So my background's a little bit different. Obviously, I don't have the years of experience and trauma that Mike has, but I joined on with Senior Marketing Specials back in 2013. And before that, I was into sales. I actually did door-to-door -door campaigning for politics, which I hit. If anybody ever has some time for a coffee or beer, I have lots of stories to share, as I'm sure everybody else here does. And really got into it, did an internship with Senior Marketing Specialist, loved it and didn't leave. I don't know that I've ever been fired, but I am still getting paid. So I'm still here uh, all these years later and loving it. And I have to say with Medicare Cafe, Mike and I have both been a part of, have both attended these trainings that are just somebody staying up in the front of the room with a business suit on, you know, just really monotone. And you know the Reading the PowerPoint to you. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh. And you know the content is great and you know what they're telling you would really help you build your business but at the same time if you're not excited about it what do you get you're not going to do anything right so medicare cafe does come up and and people either i like to say either love or hate our style i think the majority of people love the style but it is open comedic it is a lot more casual and yeah, it's very casual because again if i have to sit and listen to another this is Olivia Richardson with Senior Marketing Specialist. Let me tell you how great it's it's not working. It's not what we want. I would leave. I mean, I wouldn't yeah. even finish it. So so this is a way for us to be able to train, do what we're really passionate about, help agents out there in the field be successful, but then also kind of put our own spin on it. And it's something that we actually really enjoy. Wow. Well, I'm telling you. A lot of drinking. Yes. A lot of drinking. Coffee, involved. coffee, yes. coffee drinking. Coffee drinking, yes. yes. Coffee drinking, coffee drinking, exactly. Or or, or, or strawberry refreshers from Starbucks. Either yes. way. We are that Starbucks is, fans. That's yes. a little too classy, but for yeah. us. <laughs> well, I'm telling you what, you guys can tell you have a lot of fun. But I think I think one question a lot of our audience probably wants to know is, hey, you, you seem like almost like a 
just brother sister type, you know, always really cool, always fun. Uh, do you guys ever fight? Do you guys ever bicker? Is, is, it, is it just always just hilarious? My older sister here, she is. <laughs> I am the responsible one. Yes, yeah, so you are the responsible that. one. No, we, we, I don't think we really fight. We, we, we disagree. Bicker. We definitely disagree. We're fighting things. about how we fight. <laughs> like, we do. We do bicker. We get called, um, I, but we used to get called the husband and wife of insurance of the Medicare field. But no. So we now get yeah. referred to as the brother and sister of the insurance field and of the Medicare market. And we spend so much time together because of what we do and because of, you know, we had the same interests and things, you know, of that nature. I'm sounding like a really terrible dating site. I'm not, I'm not happy with where I'm taking this conversation, but it is the fact that we, we get along for the most part. If we don't get along, it's because Mike eventually realizes that he's wrong and that we ought to listen to what I have to say to begin with. So I just basically take a knee, let it pass. And then we just keep on going because it, she's not worth fighting with. That's fair. Well, People would never know because it seems like you guys get along great. So I love it. But but you know what? If you're if you're if you're that close and you're around each other all the time, you know what? We got to we got. We'll have to ask you about some of those stories once once we're at Nissan Stadium. So. Yes, That's absolutely. Perfect. We'll share them mm -hmm. and then some. <laughs> so, so so how so how long how long again have you guys been doing Medicare Cafe now? Been three years now. About three years. I get mm -hmm. as it when it started as AP Coffee Break. I think that was about three years ago, mm -hmm. and then it just spiraled from there. So I think we're pushing on year three starting mm -hmm. next year. Yeah, it was, and it started off as a place just for people to kind of get together. Like our motto is, is where agents get together, drink Java, and talk shop. So it was yeah. a place for kind of again this busy is fourth quarter is busy for everybody regardless of what field you're in or what industry you're in. So this was something right. that Mike started just for everybody to kind of come together, get caught up in what was going on for the week. Um, you know, senior marketing specialists, we work with 10,000 agents nationwide. So wow. this was something that it was a place for somebody to come in, sit down for 15, 20 minutes and just kind of get the updates. And so it's grown from that. We now have a wonderful following with a, a a great group of agents that work with us. And uh, so we really have been enjoying it the whole time. Mm -hmm. Crazy cool. I mean, to think about, you know, being able to impact 10,000. That's what's cool about what we do nowadays with, with, with you guys doing something modern, fun. You know, I mean, it's it's almost, it almost reminds me of like a, like a, like a, like a funny comedic TV show, you know, about insurance for insurance agents. It's like, you know, it's, it's just so neat. You know, it's almost like the office, for insurance for, for Medicare. Yes. Is that good? Or yes, that we have a female like Dwight. <laughs> yes. I'm at least an Andy. Like, I'm no. nothing else than an Andy. Uh, uh, I don't think Stanford would ever have you. No, probably not. That's fair. The office is such a popular show around, especially around our office and a lot of offices that, you know what? Well, absolutely. I think it's a, I think it's a definitely a, definitely a compliment to, to for, for the insurance industry. So I think it's cool. Uh, also, well, for those that maybe haven't seen it, when is your weekly show? Is it live? Is it pre is it is it posted? Yeah, I'll let you take it. Uh, every Tuesday, at ten o'clock central, uh, we have uh, we use a, the go to webinar platform for that, and then every Friday at noon we do Facebook Live on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So we twice a week. Then the Facebook Live is only about what maybe five to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. The Tuesday event is about twenty to thirty minutes, give or take. And we encourage agents to ask questions. You know, get involved. We don't want it to be a a duo dialogue, if you would. We'd rather have you know, two-way conversations with the agents. So that's our goal. And it works pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know, otherwise Mike and I could talk to somebody until they're blue in the face. We don't know how to stop. So it is really nice. GoToWebinar does allow us to have that platform to where people can communicate with us. We answer questions right. live, encouraging that. And, of course, Facebook, the same thing. People go on there and interact, and it's awesome. We fully understand that nobody wants to talk to insurance agents other than other insurance agents. So, so you got to give them a place to go and talk and share stories and communicate and breathe a little life in this industry because like Olivia said, we've been to trainings that you just start looking in the help wanted section because you're like, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. So we're trying to keep agents in the field mm -hmm. by our, our training and you know, so far so good. One terrible joke at a time. Yes. Yeah, I love it. Well, no, you know what's cool is you guys are giving back and like you said, helping agents stay in the field. About 92% of insurance agents fail and so I love that you guys mm -hmm. are doing something to give back have fun and make it entertaining and cool. I mean, I'm excited to see you guys and meet you guys because I've even got some personal questions because from a social from a social aspect, mm. you guys seem like, yeah, yeah, maybe not too personal, but you guys <laughs> seem like, oh, Your Honor, so <laughs> that's 
you guys seem like so social and such have great personalities. You know, it's like, uh, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if it was always like that from the day, from day one or if it's just yeah. developed to that, but it's just well, sort of chemistry, right? I mean, well, Mike and I both come from a sales background, both in our respective fields. And so we do realize that in order to be successful in this field, you do kind of have to have a really welcoming personality. I'm going to be nice to us for a second. Oh, welcoming okay. personality that, yes. that can take that back and forth. And Mike and I also have really thick skin. So we always have this saying that if you can find a way to offense us, we'll buy you a beer. Yes. That's, that's something that that's not a challenge. I'm not challenging anybody. Yes. But if you happen to offend us, we'll buy you a beer. Hey, and you have to have thick skin in any sales field, especially the senior market, mm -hmm. because let's face it, these people have earned their stripes. They've seen a lot of things, and sometimes they come up with some pretty interesting things to say. So if you can, if you have thin skin in this game, you're going to be part of that 92. percent So mm -hmm. we're focusing on the 8 percent and to get people from that 92 percent into that 8 percent. And I think your conference is a perfect place to do that. Absolutely. So much. Yeah, hey, we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw something random at you guys and put on your toes for a second. All right, so. I want you to describe the other individuals. So Olivia described Mike, Mike described Olivia. In you go first. This is a bad idea. <laughs> this is a horrible idea. In one word, I want you to describe each other. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I bet one our audience is excited to see this too. One word. I need do you to have a Do you have a bleep button <laughs> uh, by any chance? I don't know, DJ. Anyway. <laughs> Nice. All right. So okay, I'll let you go first. No, you should go first. Okay. No. What? Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. No, I don't have time. You've had that. to have thought of this before, right? You've had no, to. No, you've never done this. If I try to think about Mike as least amount of possible because the amount of time I have to spend with them. If I'm not with them, I don't want to have to think about them. <laughs> One word to describe I you. write your name on my hand so I don't forget it. That's, That's what I mean. One way to describe you, I'd say, is. One word. One word to describe you. Busy. Regardless if that's your mouth being busy or your brain being busy or you personally being busy, you're a very busy person. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. I, 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 went Maybe. Nice. I went nice. I'm going to go nice because I think you're very genuine because you, went you nice. don't sugarcoat anything for agents, but you let them know exactly what you think, whether or not if they want to hear it. Uh, you let them know exactly where they stand and you also give them the path they need to go on to be successful. So. Oh, I would have changed my answer. No, nope. <laughs> he, he, he was he, he was nicer to you. I was wondering. I'm like, okay, who's gonna go nice? Who's gonna take a little jab? Who's gonna have a little fun with it? Well, okay. S O B is three words, so I can't use that. Oh, that's yeah. Fair. So I had to use genuine. There we go. There we go. I like that. that. That's good. That was fun. Thank you, guys. Especially random to come up that off, off, off the cuff. I guess you've been around enough. Each yeah, other. you'll hear about this later. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, send me the bill. Send me the bill. Uh, okay, so <laughs> then we could talk about. Medicare Cafe, you guys, how awesome you are, you know, how fun this is. I mean, this is, this Keep is going. Be, yeah, exactly. This would be one of the, just how good looking you are, how smart you are, you know, how, and, and, and how <laughs> you're into these things. And I'm telling you what, it's, it's been fun. I can only imagine how much fun it's going to be to have you guys at this thing. What was it about? Because guys, it's nuts to think 20 days, 10 hours, 45 minutes and 20 seconds from now. We'll be hanging out at Nissan Stadium, NFL Stadium in Nashville together with Grant Cardone, Ray Lewis. You guys will be on stage in front of a thousand people. No uh, pressure. Well, that, right? here, you know, and I'm actually I own quite a few Grant Cardone books, actually. Mm -hmm. So one of my favorite books on him is Ten Times. So it's just, you know, I was just kind of start. I'm a I I am afraid that if I do meet him in person, I'm gonna be like that, you know, that that fan that's like, hi. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, just, just, he's gonna be like, what the hell is this person doing here? <laughs> I yeah. am so excited. Honestly, personally speaking, I was so excited. I'm to know that we're going to share a stage with people like Ray Lewis and Grant Cardone, mm -hmm. that it's such an honor. Honestly, I don't know that I ever expected a place in my life to share even a pamphlet and have my name somewhere near their name. So I'm so excited and so honored for that. But I think what I'm most excited about is the energy that's yes. going to be there because this time of year, again, like I mentioned, no matter what industry you're in, this time of year is exhausting and it can really weigh on you and you're worried about how you're going to come up with end of the year finances and Christmas. And so this time of year can really, I think serious for a second, sorry, but this time of year can really weigh on somebody's mind. So to have somewhere where you have that energy and just somebody telling you this is how you're going to be successful this is how you can make this the best 
year of your life and the best that this is a place where you can change your life direction into a positive way. The energy that you guys are going to bring with the speakers and just all the all the stuff that you guys have been doing to promote it, I'm that's what I'm most excited about is to kind of see how people enter that arena and then more importantly, how they leave that arena. Well, let's face it, this industry, Medicare and financial planning, is not exactly known for its high energy and charisma. <laughs> so I'm glad to see that we're gonna be part of an event that changes that stigma. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. That, that's really cool. That really means a lot. That's that's awesome, man. I was getting goosebumps and getting excited and getting jacked up over here just thinking about all that. <laughs> you're so shadow boxing. <laughs> you gotta, you guys gotta figure out what 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 song you wanna you you wanna dance out to. I may I may say. Oh. Everybody's expecting the Medicare Cafe team to come out on stage busting a move. Am I right or am I wrong? Oh, we got some. It's, it's final countdown. It's the no. Final countdown. I don't have I don't have big yeah. hair. Da, 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 da. Yeah, no, I already have the choreography planned. I don't know if Mike will be there or not, but I'm ready. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, t tell me this. What was it about this thing that, that you know, we've talked for a while about this. I was super honored to get to, for you guys to get involved in this. I really was. I was super excited. What was it about this that really caught your attention and made you, your whole team and your entire office, a huge office, by the way, want to really get behind this and get involved? Well, and, you know, like Olivia mentioned, it's the high energy and also it's the fact that Medicare is not really seen by the mm -hmm. financial community as a viable source of either income or leads. And we're looking to change that because a lot of these people, and we'll talk about this when we're at the 8% nation, is they don't have the guidance they did when they were working. When they're working, they had Karen and HR mm -hmm. telling them what to do with their health insurance and also what to do with their financial planning. Look, company matches 3%, you do 3%, and then they retire and no one's there to help them. They're just stuck. And I don't. I think the financial planners get stuck in that, you know, the, hey, I'm going to look at their 401ks, roll that over, but, oh, health insurance? Oh, you're on your own still. So the fact that they could be a resource, either have a resource, as a partner, an agent in the field, or be a resource themselves for them to show agents how that opportunity exists, I think is going to be very exciting. I think also just the opportunity to recruit nerds, because like Mike mentioned, nobody wants to talk about insurance unless you're another insurance agent or professional. Right. And with the opportunity that comes with Medicare, with the baby boomer generation coming up, we see that the things that Mike and I get excited about literally it's our poor spouses and significant others are just like, just go talk to Mike. I don't want to talk about this stuff. So we want to get people to get excited about the things that we're excited about because of the opportunity that it does bring, regardless if you are want to be the resource yourself, or if you want to find a partner to be that resource for you, just the opportunity that comes with that is, is extremely exciting. So to be able to spread that message about what Medicare can do for your book of business is really exciting. Yeah. Really growing, and I mean, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Medicare is becoming more and more popular every single day, and it's because of people like you and the fact that there's not tens of thousands of people, you know, coming right. in every single day. It's just crazy. It's, it's, right. It's getting bigger too. I mean, it's just such a. I, I think a lot of agents don't realize how big of an opportunity it really, really is. I think they see like that that bottom dollar and it's you know when I why would I sell this whenever I can make so much money over here and what we like to focus on again the holistic view of clients and and what is it you know what is it that is being thrown in your clients face on a daily basis as professionals in this industry mm -hmm. you need to be aware of that things that are affecting your clients budget things that are affecting their pocketbook things that are affecting their life and healthcare obviously affects the lives of, of people, especially over the age 65. So to be able to educate people on that, to get them excited about it, because again, it's so easy, Medicare, bleh, man, I don't want to talk about it anymore. So easy to get in that mindset. So to realize that, hey, there is so much potential in this and you can be a Medicare expert and not be a stick in the mud, horrible person that just this is a sad human being. It doesn't have to be that way. Yeah, but a lot of people see they they see insurance agents as you know, you got lawyers, use car salesmen, and insurance agents. Yes. So we're trying to raise them up and make them more professional. I know we do it comically, but through your client's eyes, they just see you as professional as other professional other experts in their lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and, and what's 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 neat? You guys are trying to get agents excited about Medicare it helps that you guys are always excited about Medicare. I mean, it's like, it just radiates. It's just, just constant flow of energy and enthusiasm and passion. And it we shows. We sprinkle Prozac on our Red Bulls. Yes, so that Prozac, really helps. Yes. Yeah. And it doesn't at all get annoying to our office mates whatsoever. Oh right? no, they're, they're always excited to see us. Yes. All right, so, so 
You mentioned Java earlier. Is it Red Bull or Monster Java? It's a combination of, we actually take a blender and we throw in there some like B12 and then we have some coffee, then we throw in some espresso shots, then there's the Red Bull, yeah. then we occasionally figure out how to hook it up to an IV and put it directly into the vein. So really any way we can do it. We're gonna see if we get our hearts to explode basically. Yeah. yeah, that's our goal, that's our end goal. Great. So, yay. On stage, on stage. On stage. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> ah, oh. <laughs> Speaking of speaking of on stage, what will agents learn? Not, I mean, you're speaking about monetizing. Not to do. Yes. Yeah, well, not, turning no. medical into financial leads. What, 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 what do you expect agents to learn? What will they get out of? They'll have a lot of fun, and I, I have a feeling they're going to learn. They're going to pick up some valuable Medicare nuggets. Help me out there. Well, I think they're going to learn that not to ignore Medicare, not to put it to the side and thinking, I'm a financial planner. I deal with 401k rollovers and retirement planning, and I don't mess with health insurance, or I don't want to mess with it. I think they're going to see, the hopefully, the correlation between financial products and health insurance products, especially when a client gets sick and Medicare doesn't cover everything they want them to do, or they want the alternative treatment, or they have a big bill they have to pay, you know, where are they gonna go? They're gonna go to that financial leg that that financial planner built for them, mm -hmm. and now they're chipping away at it. So there is definitely a correlation there. We hopefully, I think they will. They'll see the, they'll see the, the link between the two. And I think they're gonna take a step back, and as far as learning, it's more so just opening up their eyes. It's at this point, at the end of our, of our end of our talk, I hope people really step back and think, can I afford to ignore this market, both right. financially, both in, in my, uh, the way that I service my clients, can I truly afford to continue to ignore this market? So if, if, if they ask themselves that questions at the end of the presentation, then I've done my job. And of course, senior marketing specialists will have a booth there. So whenever they come up with that question, they don't necessarily know how to answer that. They'll be able to talk to Mike and I afterwards, as well as some of the members of the team here. I definitely think for younger agents, mm -hmm. they're gonna definitely rethink having children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gonna see us on stage and be like, "Nope, Pass. that's my decision. Pass. Yep, I'm good." <laughs> Gosh, for those just joining us, Medicare Cafe team <laughs> presented by Senior Marketing Specialist. They're gonna be giving a live keynote at Eight Percent Nation. Give me a little help here. There's a lot of agents that are on the fence, and there's a lot of agents already going. There's a lot of agents on the fence. A lot of people buy their tickets in the last three to four weeks of an event. Right, mm -hmm. it always happens. Why should they attend? Not only I mean, they're gonna get to be around you and have a ton of fun. Why, you know, maybe there's no other better reason than that, but. That's the reason, yeah. I think, you know, I think it's truly investment in yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, we're constantly growing. The industry is constantly evolving. And if you decide that you're going to back out of it, you're gonna be left behind. Mm -hmm. It's just like doctors and other professionals. You would never go see a doctor that stopped, you know, they graduated in 1980 from medical school and they haven't picked up a book since. You'd be second guessing them. Mm -hmm. And especially with social media, you know, new platforms coming out and all these things that agents need to be aware of, they need to keep on their finger on the pulse of the industry. And this, and this conference will do that for them. I think that as well as, again, we talk about, I think Zig Ziglar said it, that it's motivation is like taking a shower. It doesn't last this way, you have to do it every day. Right. And I do think an event like this is, like I mentioned, this time of year is so hard. And it is to, to go and take a couple days for yourself and to be amongst other professionals that with the same mindset, everybody in the, per in the seat next to you, either way, they're there for the same reason. So have that mm -hmm. network of ability to go in there and talk to them, learn from other professionals, and to be in the same room in the same place, in the same location as some of these huge speakers that you have coming up and just to learn from their expertise, whether they're in our industry or not, motivation has no bounds as far as how can it be applied. So I think if nothing else, just for that pick me up so you can finish out your year strong and plan for an amazing 2019, right. I think you have to be at this event. Well, and a lot of agents I found, especially when I was in the field, if I came across something good, I didn't share it because I don't want any other agents jumping on board and then doing what I'm doing because then it creates more competition for myself. But if you're talking to an agent that's not in your area that will never go against your clients, 
you can start sharing ideas. So like Olivia said, networking, not only for the fact that, hey, I want to talk to somebody about understands my field. It's also, hey, here's an idea I had for this market. Has it worked in your market? And you can compare notes without worrying about that and intruding on your clients. Plus is in Nashville. I've never been to Nashville. I'm so excited for yeah. Nat for some boots to stomp in, like Dolly Parton. I'm so I don't, think she, I don't think she's going to be there. I don't. Well, maybe you should get Dolly as a speaker. She there would be perfect. <laughs> you can come on stage with you guys. Done. <sighs> Fine. I'll, I'll have call her. Let me I'll, text her. I'll have people okay. call her people. Speaking of Dolly, who's the better singer? Oh, by far. Okay. Yeah. Right. I have the voice of a dying cow, so Accurate. I have no business. Yeah. Doing any type of audio singing. Whatsoever. I don't even know that you've ever heard me sing, but we just assume that I'm the better singer. Yeah, because it doesn't get much worse. No. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, you guys have been a ton of fun. I'm telling you, everyone that's watching, you want to meet these two people, the Medicare wow. Cafe team, presented by Senior Marketing Specialist. Awesome job today. Any, any final words from the Medicare Cafe team? I think we're just so excited. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to be there, Cody. We can't thank you enough for allowing us to share that stage, for allowing Absolutely. us to be there to meet everybody. We are so excited. We're huggers. So if you come up and say, hi, my, you know, my name is insert name here, you're getting a hug. I don't even care. If you don't like hugs, don't come talk to me. I can't let us know in it. advance because you will get one. Yes, absolutely. We're a sign. That's not my fault at that point. So we are just so thrilled to be included in this. So thank you so much. We're looking yes. forward to meeting everybody. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome. DJ's over here playing the final countdown on the way out to it. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. We got this. Yeah, see, now they're moving and grooving. Out. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so cool. Hey, for all those that haven't got your tickets and your seat, Olivia and Mike are telling you right now why you need to be there. Go to apersonation.com to grab your seat. Thank you very much for being on. Super excited to meet the both of you. Awesome. Right. Thanks again, Cody, Thank for you. having us. Appreciate it. We'll see you in Nashville. Have an incredible weekend. 20 days away. Grab your seat, apersonation.com. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> Here, the guy got awesome. <laughs>